Our own estimates show that there will be over a trillion dollars needed to build the infrastructure of the Arctic. And that not only includes transportation, but communication, energy, and other important things which will be necessary to support the activity in the Arctic. But as I stand here today, I feel that, that we aren't prepared. We haven't even asked ourselves the basic questions about what we're going to do and how we're going to, answer, to, to deal with the issues. For instance, black carbon. 15 ships operating in the world today, I'm talking about large cargo ships, produce more sulfur and nitrogen oxides than all the automobiles in use. If we are going to open the Arctic to shipping and transport, then we must also be prepared to deal with the environment in a responsible way, to deal with the impact that it is going to have on those people that live in the Arctic, not only from the standpoint of dealing with changing the very environment in which they live, but how they are going to participate in the decision-making and the economic prosperity that will come as a result. But as I stand here today, how many of us have contemplated the idea that we will have to build ships that have zero emission? Japan is currently working on the development of a hydrogen-powered ship that can take resources from Australia to Japan. Tomorrow is now. We have to start looking at these issues today.